Hello, this is a core four A-level maths cast on integration by parts. This is lesson two, so please make sure you've watched lesson one first. So we're going to have a go now at some integration by parts on some harder questions. So here's our example. Integrate x squared e to the x. So if I can just remind you, when you integrate by parts, you have to use this formula, uv minus the integral of v u dash. So integration by parts, you have to have two things times together, which we've got. We've got x squared multiplied by e to the x. So I can use integration by parts. Uh, you have to choose one of them to be u, and you have to choose the other one to be v dash. Well, this time, I'm going to choose u to be x squared. So when you differentiate that, you get u dash, which is going to be 2x. So I'm going to choose v dash to be e to the x. So to go upwards, to find v, you must integrate. Well, when you integrate e to the x, you just get e to the x. So what I do now is I plug these into this formula. Okay, so u times v first is going to be x squared times e to the x. Take away the integral of v u dash. Well, that's going to be e to the x times 2x. So I'm going to write that as 2x times e to the x dx. So to find the answer, I must integrate this part here. Well, you might be able to spot. Again, I need to use integration by parts to find that out. So I'm going to put a line here. And I need to integrate 2x e to the x dx. So the only way I can do that is by using integration by parts again. So I need to choose u to be something, and I need to choose v dash to be something. So I'm going to choose u to be 2x. So u dash would be 2 when you differentiate. And I'm going to choose v dash to be e to the x. So when you find v going up, if you integrate e to the x, you get e to the x. So using this formula again, because it's integration by parts again, u times v is 2x times e to the x. Take away the integral of v u dash, well, it's 2 times e to the x dx. Now, this one I can work out without using integration by parts again, because this first part stays the same, 2x e to the x. Take away the integral of 2 e to the x. Well, when you integrate 2 e to the x, the e to the x stands the same, and you keep the 2 at the front. So this here, we're going to put in to here, as that's what we've worked out, the integral. So I'm going to write that as x squared e to the x, take away. And we've just worked out this integral, so I'm going to write down 2x e to the x, take away 2 e to the x. So I'll put that in brackets so I don't make a mistake with negative signs. Just don't forget to put a plus c at the end because there's no limits. Now I'm just going to get rid of the brackets by putting this minus back in. So this is x squared e to the x. Take away 2x e to the x. And then the minus and the minus here, when you multiply them together, will make a plus 2e to the x plus c at the end. So the answer to the question is x squared e to the x. Take away 2x e to the x. Add 2e to the x plus c. So when I wanted to integrate this, it was a harder question because I've had to integrate by parts twice inside the question. So we'll have another go at one of these now, so hopefully you can get the hang of it more. Uh, so this time we are integrating x squared sine x. So again, we can use integration by parts, u, v minus the integral of v, u dash. There's two things times together. There's an x squared and there's a sin x. So we can use integration by parts. So we choose one of them to be u and one of them to v, v dash. Well, the one which we're going to pick to be u is going to be the x squared, uh, which means that u dash, when you differentiate that, is going to be 2x. So v dash is our other thing, which is sin x. So when you find v, you've got to integrate to go back upwards. Well, if you integrate sine x, you will get minus cos x. 
So putting it into this integration by parts formula, you will get u times v, which is uh, minus x squared cos x. Take away the integral of v u dash, which is going to be, uh, again, minus 2x cos x dx. So we need to work out this part here before um, I can actually find out the answer. And as you can see, again, I'm going to use integration by parts for a second time. So I need to integrate minus 2x cos x dx. So I need to use integration by parts. So I need to choose one of these two things to be u. I'm going to choose minus 2x. Well, that means that u dash, when you differentiate this, is going to be minus 2. So the other part, the cos x, that's going to be your v dash. So when you integrate to go back upwards to find v, integrate cos x, you will get sine x. So multiply these two together then. So using this same formula, we're multiplying u and v, which will get minus 2x sin x. Take away the integral of v u dash, which will be minus 2 sin x dx. So this front part stays the same, minus 2x sin x. And this time I can do the integral, take away, I can do the integral of 2 uh, minus 2 sin x. Because minus 2 sin x, when you integrate it, will give you plus 2 cos x. Well, this minus and a plus here will just end up being a minus. So we're going to put this here as the answer to this integral because we've used integration by parts twice. So my final answer, if we carry the first bit down, will be x squared cos x take away minus 2x sin x take away 2 cos x. Don't forget to put a plus c at the end because there's no limits. So my only job left to do is to get rid of these brackets. So it will be minus x squared cos x. Now the two minuses here and here, they'll cancel out to become plus 2x sin x. And again, the minuses will cancel out to give you a plus 2 cos x and a plus c at the end. So that's the answer when I integrate x squared sin x using integration by parts twice. So this is what you'll get. So I've got two questions now for you to have a go at, similar to the ones you've just done. Good luck with these and see how you get on.